Hey everyone, welcome to Game Maker Casts. Today I'm going to show you how to build a simple but powerful behavior tree, mm -hmm. AI system in Game Maker using just a couple of structs and some clean, reusable logic. If you've ever wanted smarter AI in your Game Maker games without writing a huge state machine, this is the system for you. First up though, we need to talk about what is a behavior tree. Think of it like a flowchart. It helps an AI decide what to do based on simple yes no questions. We start with a simple decision. For example, is the player close by? If the answer is yes, we might attack or flee depending on our health. If the answer is no, maybe we patrol the area. And that's exactly what we're building. A basic chain of decisions and actions using only two types of nodes. One is a decision node and the other is an action node. Let's dive into the code to see how this is actually going to work. First, let's take a look at the decision node. This function takes a condition function and two branches. One for when the condition is true, and one for when it's false. When you call evaluate, it checks the condition and delegates the behavior. That's it. It's super simple, but powerful. You can nest these decision nodes to create complex behavior trees without losing clarity. Now let's move on to the action node. This is where the actual behavior happens. You pass in a function like attack, flee, or patrol, and it runs that code when evaluated. This node is also straightforward. It just holds a function and runs it when you call evaluate. So these actions would be things like attacking the player, fleeing from danger, or patrolling an area. You can create as many action nodes as you need, and your code would go inside of these action nodes. Okay, now that we have our basic nodes, let's see how to use them in a real AI setup. In this example, we'll create a simple AI for an enemy that decides whether to attack, flee, or patrol based on the player's proximity and its own health. In our enemy object, we'll define some properties like health. Start by creating some functions for our conditions and actions. Let's create an isPlayerNear function that checks if the player is within a certain distance. We'll also create a HasHighHealth function to determine if the enemy should attack or flee. Now we can define our actions. We'll create functions for attacking the player, fleeing, and patrolling the area. For now, I will be using some simple code to simulate these actions, but you can replace them with your actual game logic. Now to hook each of our actions up to a node, we can create instances of action node for each action. We will apply the attack, flee, and patrol functions to these nodes. Now we can build our decision tree. We'll start with the root node that checks if the player is near. If they are, we'll check the enemy's health. If our health is high, will attack. However, if our own health is low, then we will flee. Finally, if the player isn't near, we'll just patrol. Our last thing we need to do is set up the AI in the step event. In the step event, we simply call evaluate on our root decision node. This will check all conditions, pick the right path, and execute the corresponding action. That's it. The tree checks conditions, picks a path, and runs the right behavior all from one entry point. As you can see when the player gets close to the enemy, it decides whether to attack or flee based on its health. If the player is far away, it just patrols the area. This setup is awesome because it's simple, readable, and scalable. You don't need a giant switch statement or messy state variables. You can reuse nodes, nest decisions as deep as you want, and keep your AI logic clean and testable. Of course, this will not replace a true state machine for every game, but for many scenarios, this behavior tree system is a great fit. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more game maker content. Thanks for watching and happy coding. Hey, thank you all for watching. It really means a lot, especially if you made it to the end of this video. I want to send a special thank you to my patrons. You are the best. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. Thank you to Game Maker Community, Sean, Micah, Matthew, Sabikai, Thomas, Victor, and Review the Future. Happy coding, everyone.